What is up guys? I am East Cyber Dragon. Welcome back to Control. Now uh, let's see if I can't defeat this guy. Uh, I guess all the voices. They can fly now. Great. Feeling he'll be back. No, really. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Okay. Ah. Speed of disappearance, traced to a home in the city of Bottle Bureau agents. Blank disappear. Huh. Huh. So they had agents going to field. They disappeared. <laughs> reappeared inside. The oldest house. Cool, I look back here. Very 
energy recovery. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Ha. Huh. The hiss got him. Ooh. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, where the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> My God. What an idiot. Oh. The hotline can't be far now. Oh, what's this? What does this stuff do? What does this do? Energy recovery. Uh, oh, I know. Telekinesis energy and stuff like that. Oh yes, the creepy uh, way of letting me know where I'm at. Thank you, I appreciate it. <sighs> Floppy disk? Oh, I know what it is. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8 inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. Okay. When bound, the object allows whatever to, to telekinetically lift material and throw it for throw it a short distance to blank for research purposes blah 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 okay false oh. this way ah his manifest in the Human hosts in numerous ways that was common, at least intense form, is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. His agents have maintained their human appearance and regarding no obvious physical transformations. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact they levitate. These his have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation and in infinitum. Whatever. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the his corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Huh. <sighs> Onwards! Into the creepy- oh my god, this is gonna be weird. I have a feeling this is gonna be very weird. Oh, would you look at that? The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Ah. Ah, okay, so it, it, it's not that way. No way. Oh, thank God. And I'm back.
Wait, let's see what happens if I pull it again. Before? Ooh. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Hello? Anyone here? Astral plane challenge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. I have to go all the way back. Please tell me I don't have to. Oh, thank you, God. I fell. 
of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. Mm. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I mean, that wasn't there before. Oh, I know what that is. Is this trench? Project choke. Mm. 
Ah. There for the weapon forms. Cool. Let's just fucking go this way. Hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Hmm. Okay. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation. You are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. This game is really, really weird, but I like it.
from the nearest control point. Hi, Jesse. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Control point. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Hope has asked us to document the hiss incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. Oof, what's this? No doubt. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. <laughs> The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. Hmm. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Who knows? He could be just a creepy old guy. Oh, wonderful. 
The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Oh, there's a lot of fuckboys in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. G this this Uh, thank, thank, thank you very much. down that way. An 
object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? So good. Drawing the pyramid. The what? Yeah. Well, that, 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 that. Good God, that was weird. Place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. <laughs> Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, 
we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to say perkele suoraan that this house has a vermin problem, a bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps and the power generators of a power plant, perkele, and the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. <laughs> Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thanks a Thank too. you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into the moon. Ooh. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Son? North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more, until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Mm. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Is this except just the control points? Huh. 
button <sighs> attention maintenance staff have object of power escaped the panopticon a couple of weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it so if, if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse sipping around the sector alert me immediately do not try to contain it yourself and definitely don't bind it to yourself your security chief simon arish Door cricket. I think this door is cricket. Hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Hmm. Get all this stuff first. Oh, boy.
here's the center elevator. field training course. The course must be completed in a specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. seconds remaining. Thirty seconds remaining. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Fifteen seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Or failed. Try again, Ranger. Shit. Oh. Get ready, Ranger. Horse starting in five. Four, three, two, one. Go. Forty five seconds remaining. seconds remaining. Course complete. Congratulations, Rainer. Can 
Ich habe meine Gern. I'm guessing this isn't usually part of the course. It's protecting itself. Oh yeah. I 
I get the feeling that I'm looking for some stairs. chamber oh I am so lost but the game looks cool look at that awesome That down there is death. Can I even go this way? Ah, uh, no. Do I guess? Turbine room. Not what I was looking for. Okay, I'm lost, so there's gonna be a jump in video until I find where it is I'm looking. Where it is I'm going. I'll see you then. Hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's oh. in charge here. Oh my god. I I can't believe I missed this. It's right here. Right after I talked to this lady, all I do was look right. Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just. Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. 
Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. it smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling them? That's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Hey, what's your read on all this? Uh, energy conversion's well below the acceptable percentage. Internal pressure's climbing so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still holding. When it blows, we're all going with it. Oh, thanks, Frank. Real positive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. Mm. I hope. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. He's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Mm -hmm. ah. I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. time I have right now. I wasted a lot of time trying to find something that was right in front of me. Is that what I think it is? Okay, as I was saying, all the time I have today for this episode, if you liked it, leave a like, 
comment down below, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.